99.7 DJX, the Ben Davis and Kelly K Show podcast. Turn it up. On demand. All right, setting the bar stories. These are always stories that set the bar for your day very low. So if you go throughout the day and, you know, some bad stuff happens, maybe uh, it's an opportunity for you to look back on this moment and say, you know what, regardless of what happened in my life today, I can at least 100% know that I didn't do that. And chalk it up as a win. Yeah. So I'm going to just go ahead and say this has a gross warning, okay? Gross warning. If you're easily queasy, just know this may trigger you, okay? Okay. So let me put down my snack. All right. Here we go. Yeah. May want to do that. <laughs> what? Okay. What is it? I'm just going to rip the band aid off. If you can manage to make it through the day without going to the doctor for a flatulence problem, problem only to find out. It's not a flatulence problem, and a 59-foot tapeworm inside you, you're doing okay. Uh, Oh, my God. Oh, no. All right, so this is in Thailand. 67-year-old dude visited the hospital complaining of stomach pains and flatulence, you know? And so he was unaware. A little gassy. Yeah, a little gassy. He was unaware of any problems. So they sent a stool sample to the lab. Yep, it tested positive for eggs. Eggs? Oh my god! Oh my god! So it just literally nestled ju- in and making a family? literally, literally oh just like what you would do with your dog or your cat. Uh-huh. Uh huh. The man was given deworming medicine. Oh my god! It so worked. Then you just had to poop it out. It worked. No. Then it happened. No. No. The giant 59-foot no. parasite came how? out. How, how, how did that live inside a human? So there's photos no. of the astonished medics unfurling the mammoth parasite and laying it on a red mat. They oh said the tapeworm was the biggest they had ever found for more than 50 years and he got it by eating raw meat. Oh, okay. I feel as though. And, and was that accurate? Ten out of ten on the about, on the gross, yeah, gross oh, yeah, factor. Oh, if that, ten that, out of ten. A All right. Thousand percent. Right. Uh, is it me, or do these kinds of stories more often come from Thailand? Like you really have to watch what you eat. I think typically in, in the United States we. Um, I, we tend to cook meat. We do more. a little bit more, maybe. I don't. Maybe it's not uh-huh. customary. Our tummies aren't used to that sort of thing. No, not used to fifty nine feet uh-huh. foot tapeworms. Oh my god. Yeah, Megan says she's listening, and that's making her itch. <laughs> 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 that's one reaction, I guess you could have. Uh, so yeah, again, oh my god, setting the bar. You know. I think you can make it through the day without going to the doctor for a little gas problem, a little tummy problem, and then finding out it's a record-setting 59-foot tapeworm living inside you. Yeah, I think. I think yeah. What? I don't, I don't even know what those doctors are making. <laughs> it is not, not enough. not making enough. <laughs> it is not enough. Not making enough. That is setting the bar on 99.7 oh DJX.